how did the premiere go last night? What did you guys think of the reaction you got? Uh, I, I was overwhelmed. It, it was really nice, and it was just so exciting to be able to share it with the cast and crew. But um, it, was, it was a really lovely response. And what did you? I was so impressed by how moved so many people were and how deeply the story resonated with them. Um, and I was just so impressed with Shailene and, and Miles. There's so much that I hadn't seen. There's so many intimate moments between the two of them that, of course, I wasn't there on set for. And I just was blown away. I was blown away to be in the same film as them. Well, what do you think people are responding to emotionally? What do you think is sort of hitting people the hardest? Um, I mean, I think there's an honest love story, you know, that sort of it, it's not really about age. I mean, they are, in, you know, teenagers. But um, I don't think it's sort of, I think it sort of transcends the usual tropes of a quote-unquote teen film, you know, which sometimes can be, you know, it's juvenile, crass, potty jokes, things like that, and I love that as well, but I don't necessarily always relate to it. And I think this is a film about adolescence that people relate to, and the characters are complicated and flawed, and people can see themselves in them, and um, yeah, and I think that's just, uh, you don't see those movies that much anymore. Well, Bree, when you get a script like this, obviously it could look like just another teen movie. How quickly do you realize that it's something deeper? Oh, well, when James is attached, then you know right away. I mean, it's like on the cover page. So, yeah, of course. And then uh, Miles and Shailene were already attached. So you can tell really quickly um, what kind of caliber or what world you're kind of creating based upon that. Um, and, and James' excitement in taking Cassidy and turning her into something that was much had much more depth and much more complication than just kind of a fluffy girl in high school. Well, you, I'm sure, see a lot of sort of high school type scripts. What do people get wrong, mostly? The whole thing. I mean, generally, just the whole thing. I, I'm not so, I mean, I think this movie beautifully depicts not only romance, but just like sex. And I, I read so many scripts that the entire plot point is about someone losing their virginity and all the trials and tribulations that they go through. And I think it, it, it sets a wrong message. and. It creates this weird sort of world that I just don't think exists and I don't think we should put that in the world to make it exist um, and and the clothes and I don't know I feel like the whole thing becomes false especially if you're doing a movie for teenagers that's so impressionable and most of my life I've spent learning and growing through movies because I was homeschooled that's how I learned how to live my life and I think it's so important to to make movies that aren't just fluffy but show real people struggling and their flaws and and their vulnerable moments and then showing how beautiful that is and embracing it and then how you learn how to fix it. Now, James, this movie, like your movie last year, I was struck by how you sort of managed to get both human pain but also humor and you managed to find the balance. Was this easier or harder than last year's movie to find that balance? Um, I mean, I think it all starts with having great actors and the actors that I really love, you know, there's collaborators with wonderful imaginations and they can sort of handle drama and comedy with equal dexterity. I mean, someone like Brie, I'm just, I've been a huge fan of for years. And if you look at her work in something like, you know, United States of Terror, or 21 Jump Street, and then you see her in Rampart, it's sort of mind blowing the level, like the breadth and, of, and depth of talent that she has. So I think when you work with actors like that, it's easy and it's also sort of just an approach and it's sort of a, a worldview that life is neither all dramatic or all comedic. It's sort of kind of is in some gray area in between and can take hard tonal right turns and the movies that I like best do that. Now are you guys going to be able to see any movies while you're up here? Mm -hmm. Oh God, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting up really early tomorrow to see Breathe In, which I'm so excited about. And then we're going to go see Before Midnight. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to see Emmanuel and the Truth About Fishes. Um, very excited on Sunday. I'm going to see the Coral uh, Venus Rekindling at New Frontier. And oh, I just saw that. Oh, was it awesome? Yeah, I, said it was great. I can't wait. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit hitfix.com.